So the Stu Gray Silling Hurdle is next, and this is over two and a quarter miles. We probably should have let Stu comment up this one, shouldn't we, really? Good to see him back yesterday. And Mind Dominica Nessa for James Shea is the top one. Far more blue for Vinnie Gerard, number two. Here say James Shea, Astro Charm Glances, Martin Lee, and Water Clock Deal, Derek Hinton, the Seal Team, Paul Rhodes, Laser Clarity, Paul O'Neill, and Sunley Vitam T. Rogers. So the lowest rated hurdle race of the week then. And away they go. And a very short run to the first flight. And they're all over that one nicely. They've got 10 more to take, which will make 11 in all on water clock deal. But Derek Hinton has gone into the lead in that pink jacket as they race up the stand. Up the stand, up the, up the straight towards the stand. And water clock deal will show the way. Just explain to any newcomers to the league as they jump over number three and then all over that one safely. The way these races work, the low rated chase races are referred to in the online league is Hunter Chases and they're normally for race, horses racing 0 to 100. The hurdle versions, because they don't have hunters or hurdles, we decided to call them sellers and they don't really sell the winner at the end. So if you're a new trainer and got one in this, don't worry that you're going to lose your horse if it wins. It's just a way of making it look like it's a lower grade race than the others because these are low rated handicaps. So. That's the way that goes. We don't actually have an auction later on. They <laughs> jump over number four. Remember that one, okay? I'm not sure we have that many of them, to be honest. The Hunter chases are on pretty much every week, but the low grade hurdlers, I'm not sure that they do get one every week. They may do this year, maybe some tweaks, but it's water clock deal in the lead. I'll stop waffling. Seal team is second. Hearsay is third. Then Fire My Blue is fourth. Laser Clarity fifth. And then Sunday Vitam, Astro Charm Glances, and the one that's out of shot is Mondomica Nessa. Make their way towards the next. So this is the lowest rated hurdle race of the week. Some pretty well established trainers in it as well. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Some of the newbies this year are a little bit better than usual. So seven has even the playing field somewhat, which has been great success. We've seen a lot of wins this week for newcomers and people returning from years ago. So, Stalwarts not necessarily having it all their own way, which is good, and they're pleased about it as well, which is nice to see. So, water clock deals in the lead then. Seal team is second. Bit of a gap back to find my blue and hearsay. And laser clarity after that one. It's suddenly Vitam, the Grey's Astro Charm glances as they take number six. And oh, I wanted that back there. I was just about to say, here comes my Dominic and Nessa, and then it looked like he was going to skid right out of the race, didn't it? And they come down to the seventh, then slow jump by the leader. And the back marker jumped in better this time, but it's water clock deal now being joined by Seal Team. And a gap back to Laser Clarity in the red with the green sleeves. Fire My Blue is next after that one. Then comes Sunley Vitam. The grey Astro Charm Glances is making a bit of a forward move as they take the eighth. They've got just three more to take. Now then. And the leader is now Seal Team. By about a length to water clock deal in second. Laser Clarity is third. Fire My Blue is four. Astro Charm Glance is just being pushed along on the outside. Then comes suddenly Vitam and Hearsay. It's between these. He wouldn't rule any of these out yet. Mind Dominic and Nessa looks to be beaten, but Water Clock Deal has got back into the lead again. Water Clock Deal on the inside is back in front from Seal Team being scrubbed along. Then comes Laser Clarity and Fire My Blue. Hearsay and Astro Charm Glances, and then suddenly Vitam. Mind Dominic and Nessa is out of shot. They've got just over three furlongs to race, and it's Water Clock Deal in the lead from Seal Team. The grey Astro Charm Glances is making a forward move around the outside. Also coming through, Fire My Blue now to hit the front. They come down towards the next flight, then Fire My Blue, Seal Team, Water Clock Deal, that's the third last. Astro Charm Glances is fourth. It back towards the leaders then now, and it's Seal Team in front. Seal Team from Fire My Blue over the second last they go. Seal Team, Fire My Blue now takes it up there. It's Fire My Blue being a pull away from Seal Team. Astro Charm Glances is third. Then Laser Clarity in fourth. They come down towards the final flight, it'll depend on the jump. Over it goes the leader, mistake by Seal Team. Astro Charm Glances is trying to run on, but Fire My Blue looks hard held at the moment, it looks like he's going to take this one pretty comfortably, Seal Team is running on again up towards the line, Fire My Blue is going to take it, Seal Team is second, Laser Clarity gets up to third, Astro Charm Glances was fourth, then suddenly we have here saying Water Clock Deal dropped right out of it, and only just beat Mind Dominic and Nessa in the end, so it's a win for Fire My Blue, oh, could that be Vinnie Gerard? No, I don't think so, I don't know, the sort of name that Vinnie would have, but 
So look, it is. It's Vinnie Gerald. That might be his first ever jumps winner. Not sure he's had one before. He's certainly never had a jumps team before this season. If that's his first jumps winner, well done. And won't mind that it's the lowest rated race of the week. Five My Blue takes it for Vinnie Gerald. Seal team for Paul Rhodes is second. Laser Clarity, Paul O'Neill third. Astro Charm Glances for Martin Leader was fourth. And suddenly Vitam for T. Rogers was fifth.